Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Space Age. Man, we are having a lot of fun so far with this expansion, even though we haven't even gotten to space, though we're getting closer. Uh, in the last episode, we got chemical science done and queued up a few researches here, so we've gotten through a few of them, and now we are working on the quality module research, which costs 10 times as much as the other modules. Those are only 50 each. And... I think the reason is because the devs want you to realize that quality is expensive. And they want you to be prepared for the costs. Because it's not like you can just easily get uncommon and rare quality stuff. That's my guess anyway. So we'll see. Uh, once we get it done, we can maybe try to get a quality modular armor. But why don't we split off... Oh, I'm not on the right hotbar here. Get the red circuits over here. And I'll put some in a chest for my own handcrafting. And then... I think what I'm gonna do... Is... Call me crazy. But... Well, let me, let me uh, bring this forward. I think I'm gonna combine steel and red circuits. The reason is, I think a lot of the things that need, will that go all the way? No. A lot of the things that need red circuits also need steel in terms of mall stuff. So I think this will actually be a pretty convenient, um, like combined belt to have. And the rates of both are gonna be less than a belt for a long time. It would be funny if it was a typo. You know what, Dave? That's not outside the realm of possibility. It's supposed to be 50 of each pack for all of them, and they just accidentally... They accidentally a zero into the whole thing. It's certainly possible. I've made bigger typos. <laughs> that would be funny, though. Now, here's the real question. Yours truly, Crydax, has made a mod called the Brighter Lamps mod, which makes it so that the little light radius of each lamp is a little bigger, which is nice. Uh, are we? Yeah, I forgot to add more power. Um, the light radius is bigger on lamps, which is very nice, because then you don't have to place as many of them everywhere to keep your base lit up at night. My question is, does quality increase the light radius of lamps? Because if it doesn't, I am... I am sad. <clears throat> if it does, they're not telling you here. Which is a real bummer. If that's the case. Alright, let's grab more power. This time I will actually grab these things. Only don't need that many. Uh, let's do 24. And 12. And that should add enough power for a bit. Okay, so why don't we just take this, copy the whole dang thing, and plop it over here. Probably could have fit one more there, but whatever. It's fine. Oops. Lamp there, lamp there. Our input's going. Six cylinders, perfect. Oh, that's only half of what I wanted to do. Whoops. I thought something felt wrong. That didn't feel right. 
Uh, F and G are not flipping my blueprints. So now H and V are the flip. Okay. I don't know if I changed that or if that was always that way and it just reverted back to the original controls just now. But I, it was F and G for me before. Ooh, we got a new tip. A new tip. What is it? Uh-oh. That seems like a bug. Shouldn't it go to the new tip when you click on that? Feels like it should. Quality. Quality improves certain aspects of items. Oh my gosh. Look at that wooden power pole going four tiles. That's just absolutely incredible. Quality modules increase the chance of producing higher quality items in all of those production entities. That's not a very in-depth description, but I'll take it. Can't go straight up, apparently. Now skills are hard. Alright, there we go. Okay, that should be... Ooh, we got quality showing up here now. On our power grid. Um, but 40, 47 megawatts is pretty good. The exceptions text is hoverable. Transport belt, pipe, rail, and chest. Which implies lamps get something. Just saying. Um, items that can be used as buildable tiles can benefit from this quality only as a part of other recipes. So like landfill, concrete, etc. They revert to normal quality upon being placed as tiles. Now go nuts with quality. Um, what about filter inserters now that I have quality unlocked? Yep. So you can do quality equal to, less than, less than or equal to, not equal to. Um, connecting circuitry. Yeah, see, you have to select a specific quality of that. You can't go quality any when you're like looking at how many of something you have in a chest or something. So <laughs> do you get epic electricity? Yeah, I mean, you do. You can make epic steam engines, which will produce more power output uh, and consume more steam. I don't think they're more efficient. They just do more. And so you could look at on your power network, like what's the consumption of my uncommon buildings versus What's the production of my rare building? You know, you can do that. I assume there are places where it's helpful, maybe like solar panels, you know, or something. I don't know. Selector combinators will let you some different quality levels. Yes. So let's take a look at the new combinator since we haven't done that yet. Where is the new combinator? Is it a separate research? Oh, it is. Oh, I don't think you would use the selector for that anyway, but we should research it. Um, I think you just use the arithmetic. Yeah, so if you wanted to sum all the qualities, you would do that plus this. Um, no, no. Maybe you need a decider. I get no, it is kind of a mess. You would just have to sum everything. I don't actually know. Because this is the one where you can add different things. And then you can select, you can output the input count. But... Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's all sorts of 
all sorts of different options there. And then there's the new one, the selector combinator. Whoa, that needs five decider combinators, which apparently I need green chips in my inventory is what this is telling me. Um, and then this one, select input, count inputs, random input. Yeah, so this is more for selecting a specific signal from your signals or counting how many inputs you have. This is the selector combinator, for lack of a better way to describe it, is like a meta. It's more for when you're doing things with multiple signals and you actually want to mess with the signals themselves. It's not used as much for like the actual reading of things, but more for like meta operations on the signals. Basically, when you're making your own computers and crazy crap like that, you'll use the selector combinators. But yeah, uh, we have quality modules, so let's get some of those. <laughs> quality is only plus 1%. Oh my gosh. So we're going to be starting with a 2% chance with uh, with these buildings. Can I get... When do I get Assembling Machine 3? I need purple for that. Classic. Um, yeah, yeah. Picking a specific value out of a list of signals. Figuring out which signal is the largest signal. Things like that is what, uh, what you'll use selector combinators for. But it certainly won't be as common as the other two. It's extremely useful, though. Um, it's just not going to be used as often. All right, we'll do that. We'll do this. We'll do this. Make sure we got everything pulled forward here. So this is my bus as it stands or rolls. Let's get rid of some more trees here. You are in the way of progress. How dare the... You've done a good service soaking up some pollution, but you're done now. Yes, we need quality quality modules and then quality assemblers with the quality quality modules to make more quality modules so that we can quality even harder. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is make some extra green circuits here to combine with my extra red circuits. How many extra red circuits am I actually making? We said we needed nine. So six of these. So I'm not even making one per second extra. Yikes. Also, am I out of plastic? How am I out of plastic? How do I figure that? Uh, oh, I just don't have enough. We need advanced oil processing here. That's what we need. Should do it. Um, so we'll get that fixed. I assume pretty much everything has more health, Dave. Again, I guess we'll find out here in a minute. But... Could be wrong about that. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to copy this. We're going to make a little baby module factory here. Get this rebuilt. And then. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. The reason is because I will have enough extra red chips, but I will not have enough extra green chips. Wait, how does that make any sense? I need the same... It, the relative cost of a module is mostly in the red chips, not the green chips. So why am I making so many extra green chips? I don't really know. But here we are. I've done it now. Maybe I can make even more red chips with this. Inserters. 
Wow, I cannot wait for construction bots. I should probably be rushing construction bots right now rather than diving headlong into the into the module quality module rabbit hole, but here we are. That's why we're going to Fulgora. We'll see. Uh, wait, why is the chat not showing up anymore? That's new. It was working fine. What's, what's happened here? Neither of the... Wait, how long have the chat boxes been broken? What is this nonsense? Astro Labs. Go home, you're drunk. Um... All right, let me restart Caster Labs. Try that. Okay, so I've got all these green modules. And then we've got the red modules over here that are extras. Or I could just make new red modules, specifically red mo red modules? Red circuits. Um, yeah, maybe it's some sort of timeout issue. I don't know. Um, okay, so Twitch is back. YouTube should be back after a minute. It takes a minute to hook into the YouTube chat. So. Whoa. Did you see that? Ingredient quality? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you actually set what quality you're making. Nuts. Totally nuts. We're doing it. It's working. All right. Yes, you cannot mix qualities of different items into so like that. You have to tell it which one you're making because you can't feed it. Now, I thought you could use lower quality, but I guess you can't. Can't you have ingredients of different qualities? I thought you could. Like, if I was making an uncommon, couldn't I use a rare circuit and, a, and an uncommon red circuit? Can I not? Also, is the YouTube bot working yet? Maybe. Maybe, kind of. Well, I should put these in here, right? Make it better. You could have different qualities, but they changed it. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, apparently the YouTube one is still not working. But you say... Connected to YouTube chat successfully. But here you are, not showing up. Come on, Caster Labs, get your crap together. So right now, we have a 2% chance to get higher quality. Wait, you can see my comments just fine. Huh? Oh, no, I mean showing up on the screen itself. Um, I don't know why that's not working right now. For the future people who are watching the recorded version, the YouTube chat is... Let me try... Let me try... Here. Maybe that'll make it happy. Maybe it has problems with YouTube streams longer than seven hours. Who knows? Yeah, and, and I have a 0.2% chance. That's the next thing I was going to say. So I have a 2% chance to get this and a 0.2% chance to get rare quality. And what that means is I actually have a 2.2% chance to upgrade quality. So that's that's a thing. And yeah, now I can't really restrict that, so we are gonna need wires on everything. Alt G, I don't think I like that. Can we still put it on our hotbar? Yeah. 
So, you know, if I want this to stop, then we do have to enable disable. Everything is less than 100. So eventually we'll get some uncommons, but... What's the recipe for tier two? So, tier two quality module. I need space science for it. And it's the same recipe as other modules. It's five, five red, five blue, and four of the regulars. And that gives you a 2% quality boost. It's also a speed hit, 5%, negative 5% speed. Oh, these are also a speed hit. I didn't even notice that. Look at that, minus 10% speed. Okay, so yeah, I don't know why Caster Labs is having a fit. It says it's connected to YouTube. And it even said connected to YouTube chat successfully. And yet, it isn't. Why do you lie? Why do you lie to us, Caster Labs? Try restarting it one more time just because we can. But. Yeah, so quality, I'm probably not gonna go nuts with it. I know you guys want me to go nuts with it, but it's just, it's a it's a losing proposition this early to go nuts with quality. <laughs> um, it's just not gonna do much for us. So probably what we'll wanna do is get maybe some um, uncommon quality modules so then we have a little bit of a shot at getting like an uncommon equipment or something. But that's probably it. No quality only challenge. Yeah, so this could be where you go on a very interesting tangent, which I'm sure someone like Michael Hendricks or Troopin or Dosh Doshington will do something like this at some point, where at this point, you only are allowed to use things that are of rare quality until you unlock things that are, until you unlock epic quality, and from then on you're only allowed to use epic quality. It would be horrible. Absolutely horrible. We're not gonna do it. Okay, it says it connected to YouTube chat successfully again. Is it lying to me again? Probably. I feel like it's just dead forever now. But Twitch chat is working. Why is YouTube chat not working? Super weird. Super duper weird. It was working fine. And now it now it is not. Um I'm gonna pause the recording for a minute. Alright, we're back. I don't know if the chat's fixed or not, but we got our first uncommon quality module. Da, 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 da. And yeah, look at this. Look at that. I mean 1.3%, guys. Guys, come on, we won the game. This is that, we're just, we can't lose now. We can't lose. Uh, so now we take that and we put it in here. And now, now instead of a 2% chance, we have a 2.3% chance. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> this is, this is gonna be a slow process to start. Yep, we, we gambling now. We gambling. So, I'm just gonna let those keep running. Um, gosh, and the chance to get a rare is even lower. So the, the best way to do this, obviously, would be to just use quality modules in the circuit making so that we get some uncommon and rares as we're making circuits, and then we can make uncommon modules directly from having uncommon circuits. Technically, at the end of the day, it's the same chance, but, but then when you're making your uncommon modules, you have a chance to upgrade those to rare, and so, you know, it's a lot better, but. Anyway, yeah, the chatbot still seems to be taking its sweet time figuring crap out. I don't know if it'll work at this point. It gave up seven hours into the stream, apparently, for YouTube. Twitch is working fine. Hey, we got another one. Look at that. I mean, we're just rolling in the uncommon quality modules now. Can't stop me. 
2.6%, come on. That's like basically 3%, which is basically 5%, which is basically 10%. I mean, it's like, we're like 20% quality right there. Boom. Uh, <laughs> I kid. All right, so why don't we work our way towards bots now? Where are they? I guess I'll just find them via the search. Construction robots. All right, so we need lubricants, electric engines, flying robot frames, batteries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's all familiar stuff. Uh, we could set up an alert. Yes, 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 that's true. Tell us. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm just getting stuck thinking about quality here. There's so many different options we have for like how we could approach quality. I just think for now, it's probably not worth it. Like these are such small numbers. We're talking one out of 40 items gets upgraded with these uncommons, right? One out of 40 items getting upgraded for being 10% slower at crafting is obviously not a great trade. Um, and I just don't need higher quality stuff yet. The thing I care the most about higher quality would probably be power poles. It would be really nice to have higher quality power poles, but I would have to make 40 times more power poles to be consistently using um, uncommons right now. And that's just ridiculous. All right, I'm going to restart Caster Labs one more time. Just on the vague hope that it'll work. Yes, I could put quality into the machines that make the resources that make the power poles. Um, the problem with that is then we've slowed down that entire production line by 90% or by 10%. So they're like plates. I'm not going to easily get quality right now until we get electric. And even then we're sacrificing, not putting other modules in there. So, hmm. Hey, Arthur, how's it going? This is the DLC for Factorio. I really am trying to get this YouTube chatbot to work, so I think I'm going to pause the recording until we iron that out again, because I don't want future episodes to be like 30 minutes of me messing with Twitch chat. Not the best content. So I'll pause and I will be right back. OK, we are back and we have not been able to fix it. I don't know what's going on. Some sort of weird bug. So YouTube comments are not going to be showing up probably for the next couple episodes here as we finish out our 12 hour stream. <laughs> but what we can do is finish our uncommon quality, quality module, quality module maker, which is beautiful. And it's currently done because it has a hundred. Um, I don't know. Do we need to do anything else with it? Who knows? We did get some new entries here. Properties of entities, icons, and equipment are marked by the diamond icon. Why did that just now show up? Why didn't this show up earlier? Weird. It's 1% with one basic and 24.8% with four legendary quality module threes. Cool. There's also a small chance of skipping steps and getting higher quality directly, which is 10% of whatever chance you currently have. So. Yeah. Yeah, so basically you have the whatever chance is shown to you is the chance to upgrade one level and you have one tenth of that chance to upgrade two levels and one one hundredth of that chance to upgrade two levels. Etc. So that's how that works. Um, and then let me just make sure. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we've got quality modules. What do I do next? Bots? 
Yeah, I think we need to do bots. They're already researched now. No, one more research. And then once we have bots, we'll start doing robo ports. And then once we have bots flying around and building things, that will be very helpful. And then we can think about going to space. Oh, power armor though. Yeah, I did. I did want to look at its modular armor, but yes. So. <laughs> so I need to basically automate modular armor and we're going to have to make 40 of them to get a chance at an uncommon one. Why not? What else are we doing with our lives? Um, probably the better way to do something like this is, but again, the problem is the steel plates. We can't easily do quality. The red chips, we could do quality on these and siphon off uncommon red chips, right? Like we can do this and siphon off um, greater than normal. So anything greater than normal goes over there. And then we can chuck some of our special quality modules into a few of these guys. And we'll eventually get some uncommon red chips by doing that. So that's the thing. And then the problem though is steel. The only way I can get uncommon steel is if I do electric furnaces. Which is gonna be a little trickier. So maybe I do just gamble. You're right, I could do uncommon ore to make uncommon, to make guaranteed uncommon plates, to make guaranteed uncommon steel. Maybe that's the way to do it. Oh my gosh, I hate, I hate this. Why, why, why is this in our game? <laughs> this is terrible and amazing at the same time. Why are there no red circuits here? Oh, I literally am, it's not gonna work that way. There are no red circuits over there. Okay, so this, we want to make sure stops. You're only enabled if modular armor quality uncommon is zero. So yeah, now we're just gambling. We got a got a two percent chance. So now we've got our uh, gotcha gotcha game. <laughs> Am I actually gonna make fifty modular armor? Maybe Alor. Why not? Why not? We would need. I mean, I guess this is more wasteful. Because if you fail to upgrade a red chip. The ones that fail to upgrade are still useful. So, uh, yeah, maybe we'll need 200 modular armor. Who knows? Only time will tell. I haven't even gotten a single uncommon red chip yet. Um, are biters turned on? Yes, they are. Hey, the YouTube chat's back. Look, look, it's working. Lo and behold. Or YouTube has spoken and now YouTube is here. Cool. All right, well, I don't know what was up with that, but whatever. All right, so we need we need to do a lot of, th I need task list. That's that's the mod I'm feeling the lack of right now is not having task list. Um, so I would like to revamp our oil processing real quick. Certainly gonna need to redo some of these connections. So these two go together. And then these two go together, but extend out. Okay. So 
so it's pretty similar to what it was before. But yeah, it's just so much nicer now. I could limit the chest to one uncommon armor. Uh, I did, I did. I set it, I set the inserter to only outsert if it was at um, zero regulars. So as soon as it sends anything in there that's not a regular, it won't work anymore. Okay, so water, we just need to bring over from this setup over here. Let's get water hooked up. Just there. The water's going, those are running. Bottom light oil isn't connected. Yes, thank you. Oh, when you go to build a pipe, it shows you all of them. Okay, that's handy. I didn't know that. So now you can see all the connections. All right, and then we're gonna need Hoyle cracking. We're gonna need Loyal cracking, as I call it. Um, flip those. Copy this. Connection scheme for both. Oh, I still have to build it. That is the downside to not having bots yet. Um, <laughs> all right. Copy those two. These new ghosts are so much easier to see. That part is very nice. Okay. And then I'm supposed to be trying new sushi pipes. Yes, don't don't worry. We'll still try sushi pipes, but not for this. I was thinking more for like train unloading stations and such. Not for regular oil cracking. Um, I am just going to crack everything directly for a minute here until we uh, need something else. Okay. So now we should... Uh-oh. Water. There we go. Oh, and then Loyal needs to go over here. Get hooked up to this Loyal. I missed. No, I didn't miss. I just didn't connect it. There we go. Okay, why are we not running? I'm out of crude? Oh, I didn't reconnect the crude. How rude of me. There we go. What's up, Igor? How goes it? Uh, there's probably a lot of things that aren't hooked up. Okay. So what'd you say? Bottom two loyal cracking are not hooked up. Not? Oh, you mean to the petrol. There we go. Cool. You guys all running? Nope. Oh, and of course, we need one more pipe. There we go. Now you're all working. Cool. Yeah, the DLC is insane, and I love it. 
I love it. All right, how's our modular armor farm going? Anything? No hits yet? No bites? We're at three. I also just need to trash my light armor now. Anything else we need to trash? 15 random wire. Um, some stone furnaces. Get out of here. Come on, baby. Be the one, be the one, be the one. 2%, 2% roulette. Let's go, let's go. Do it, do it, do it. And, nope. <laughs> That's really funny. Wait, this doesn't seem right. I haven't gotten a single one yet? I guess these are only making 0.4 per second, but I've been gone for like five minutes. And we haven't gotten a single uncommon red chip. Yeah, in all time, the only uncommons I've made is four uncommon modules. Okay, interesting. Unlucky indeed. I could do the math on how unlucky, but I won't. All right, so plastic, we're actually getting the amount we wanted now, I think. Maybe, yeah, I'm getting 40 petroleum a second just from those. I guess I need 80. No, I don't need 80, I'm not using all of it. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. All right, moving on to bots, because that's the actual thing we wanted to work on next. Um, let me just make sure these are all running. We do have enough power. These are all functioning. Okay. Yeah, I mean, what's not to love about something that's just wasting our resources for a tiny marginal gain? Like, isn't that just great? Isn't that just amazing? I think it's... I think it's wonderful. Uh, I am actually going to need more chests here. So we'll connect the two. Okay, so. Personal equipment and bots. That's what we're going to next. So bots are going to require... Green and red chips and flying robot frames, which are electric engines, batteries, steel, and more green circuits. Okay, so more green circuits. I think I'm going to supply the more green circuits from over here. And then we've got red circuits and steel. So now we mainly need electric engines, which require lube, and... Batteries. Okay, so batteries and lube. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set up some storage tanks. And we're going to do lubricant behind the refineries, I think. Take some more chem plants. Also, what am I short on? Iron? Yeah, I have like no iron in my inventory. Steal some from here. Time to buffer quality ore for the next important project. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the cost here. Maybe I should be, I, just because it's fun. We're doing it because it's fun. I certainly would be better off just working on quality red chips for a while until we have enough, and then working on quality steel. Because I need how many? I need 30. <gasps> oh my god! We got a rare circuit? Whoa! What are we gonna do with it? Seriously though, that's one out of 500. It's a pretty good chance. We just we just won the lottery with that one. So, so Clifford, um, unspoiled as in haven't played the DLC. Like I didn't go to the LAN party. I haven't played it before this playthrough. So most of the most of the streamers who are making content are people that either went to the LAN party or got access around that same time 
and have been playing since then. So there's different there's different levels of unspoiled. I'm not zero spoiled, like have avoided all FFFs and chat about the game, but I'm unspoiled in the sense that I haven't played the game, which a lot of the people who are playing this week have played the game. So I figured that was the thing to differentiate on. I gotta sleeve that red chip. <laughs> Rare red chip unboxing video. Oh man. That's funny. Alright, so lubricant... Wait, what? You can't make... Okay, yeah, you can't make uncommon. Lubricant has no item ingredients, therefore does not support quality. Alright, so what we're gonna do is put a break between... these two. I mean, we only crack the lubricant if we have enough of it. So lubricant, or no, sorry, heavy oil. Heavy oil greater than 20,000. Then we will pump it. Otherwise, it's going to go towards making heavy, or making lubricant. I'm really out of pipes here. In fact, I'm probably out of a lot of things. Let's kind of, let's go shopping here. Make sure we got what we need. Slowly getting rid of my yellow belts. Uh, we've got those power poles we're pretty good on. I'm excited about the idea of having only uncommon power poles, but we're too far from being able to afford that yet. No quality oil. Yeah, apparently there are, and I'm, I'm guessing you guys can imagine, there are some ways to kind of exploit the fact that fluids don't have quality. Like if things have a mixture of fluids and items as inputs, you only need the items to be high quality and that can create some things that sort of feel a little cheaty. Um, so. I don't know, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. It's, it's interesting. I assume it'll maybe need to get rebalanced a little bit. I don't remember the exact context, but someone was doing something pretty broken. I think it involved coal liquefaction in some form or, or another. All right, so there's lubricant, and we'll go ahead and put that in a tank. Bring that over. So there's lubricant. We can make electric engines over here. We did say we were gonna use the engines from over here, I think. I'm going to have to expand this quite a bit. Oh, and someone was asking earlier about quality science. The way quality science works is it's it's a multiplier to like how much it's worth in the in the lab. As far as I know, it's not really worth it though. Like I can't I can't understand exactly why you would use it, um, other than just you want to and it's cool. Because I think Uncommon, it it's not like it's even worth double, I don't think, at Uncommon. Even though you spent, you know, way more resources to make it. Obviously, if you're, if you're like mining and you're only using Uncommon Ore anyway, then sure, why not? Like, it's just free value, it's free real estate, but... Yeah, could be UPS reasons for late game two. I would guess though your UPS is gonna be worse if you're making uncommon packs than common packs. That's what I'm kind of uncertain about, so. All right, so there's a lot more engines. Four more, now I've got 18 running and I only need 10 right there. So that gives me leeway for 10 electric engine makers. Cause I think the electric and regulars make at the same rate, yeah? Yes. So, 
We'll split off engines here. And we'll bring that down as like an extra thing. Also, you guys are right. I, I You mentioned alarms. I do need an alarm. We need the full blaring volume to tell us when we have accomplished our goal. So modular armor. See, even this is kind of annoying. Like... How do I... There's really no way to do this. I guess... Also... Okay, that that's, uh, that's ignoring rare. If I get a rare one, it's gonna keep going, which is gonna be hilarious. Um, but, like, I actually need two alarms here. Just to make an alarm for power armor. No, it's modular armor. Because I need an alarm for uncommon... Volume, global alert. Global. I like how global, it, I like how it says global instead of like universal or something because global implies globe, which implies planet, which implies surface. So that feels really weird. Can I do number of common less than number of inequality? Ooh, smart, smart, that'll work. That'll work. Wait. What? Why do these have quality settings? What the hell? I'm confused now. Is that reading properly? What? What? Uh, we need to do some testing here. Decider, Combinator. <laughs> what? Like, does that... Is that an actual... Item? Why would I be able to select uncommon quality... Normal quality? What is going on here? Um... So here, let's just, like, add a condition... Or no, we just need the one condition. So does it consider that to be equal to zero? It does. Does it consider that to be greater than zero? No. Normal quality, normal. It does not consider... So I don't know what this is. That's not an actual thing that you can use. I thought it was. This is more just a random icon. I don't think that actually does anything. Because it's not showing normal is greater than zero. Or is it? Oh god. No, there's no signal coming out of it. Um, so, so this is just a symbol for usage. This is not an actual... Which is confusing because these are actual things. Although those are only... I don't know. So is there no way to do this then? You can't actually read the number of common ingredients in a network? I assume that's what this would be, but you can't. I've got the output as nothing. No, it's the input count. as It outputs the upgrade planner signal. And it's connected to this power pole. And it's not showing anything. And this shows as green, by the way. The reason I know it's not working is because this shows as green when it's true. See? So we know, that we know that this normal thing is actually doing nothing. An uncommon normal... 
uncommon, a normal normal, that just isn't anything, unfortunately. No, Vatamouse, there, you cannot read the number of common items. That's the problem. These are not actual signals. Like, this is not a signal that represents anything in the network. This is just a random... This could be a picture of a biter, for all you know. It, it's not actually doing anything. Um, is the problem. And there is no... There is no any or all quality. So what we have to do... Is we have to have a... An or symbol here. And we actually just have to select modular armor. I, I can't... There's no other way to do this. And we have to do the rare and the regular, or the rare and the uncommon. And then if that, then we can output, I don't know, our green check mark or green signal. Because there's no way to, there's no way to get the total number of things of a certain quality in your network. Because you can do everything or anything or each. Like, those things are still a thing, but those don't have quality selections. And these don't mean anything. I keep thinking these would do something. They don't. So, yeah, you, you can only look at specific items. Oh, you're right. That's important. Greater than zero. Um, maybe with the new combinator? Maybe. Quality filter. Outputs all input signals that pass the quality filter. Okay, so this one you could say quality greater than normal. So that would work as well. So yeah, I'm a little disappointed that you don't have a little bit of capability to just like read how many normal quality items you know, from this uh, menu. But maybe they thought that was too powerful. I don't know. But anyway, we're at 31 now. <laughs> we haven't we haven't got our hit yet. Uh, what's the distribution, folks? What what are what's my expected? N I know the expected number is 50. Sorry, I already know that. But more like there's a Poisson distribution or something. So like, when am I 90% to hit? How many do I have to roll before I'm 90% to hit? Um, so this just needs to say if the green signal is. I like how we've just been setting up an alarm for 20 minutes. And, and we'll say the normal quality green signal. Not that uncommon green signal. No, no. The, the normal quality green signal <laughs> is greater than zero. Oh, God. This is going to cause such chaos. All right. Well, anyway, we should have plenty of lubricant now to make electric engines with. <laughs> uh, let's do that over here. Let's do eight. And you know I could use shift R. I'm so bad at using shift R. I just hit R three times instead. I don't think I'll ever be able to undo that habit to be honest. And then we'll just connect up everything. We've got ourselves some long inserters. Oh gosh. There's no squeak through, so I actually have to go around the whole thing like a barbarian. And then this will be... Did we bring the engines over already? I thought we did. Did I not? Did I not? Ah, they're over here. Okay. Oh yeah, I got distracted with the alarm making. Because I checked, now the expected value is still 50 more. Damn it. I shouldn't have checked. It's like uh, Schrodinger's cat. Or no, quantum. It's quantum something. The state of checking it changes the actual result. 
<laughs> well, we're certainly over one crate full now. I'm at 36 and still counting. But what that means, it's very, it's very easy to think there's a 50% chance to have one after 34. Okay. Yeah, and that's what's that. I was about to say that. That's what's weird. The expected number of rolls to to win is going to be. It's actually less because there's a two percent chance for the upgrade. There's also a 0.2 percent chance for the rare. So it's actually it's not a 98 percent chance to fail. It's a 97 point seven 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 eight or whatever. However that works. Um, Anyway, I digress. Uh, the point that I'm making now is you'd think 50% of people would need more than 50 rolls and 50% of people would need less than 50 rolls, but that's actually not how it works. 50% of people get it after 34, apparently. But the thing, the, the reason the expected value gets so much higher than that is because there's some percentage of people that need more than 100 right but there's zero percentage of people that need less than one and so it's like the the way that the curve looks it, it actually has a longer tail as the numbers go up and so the even though the average the expected number of rolls is 50 the average number of rolls is 50 if you are the average player you'll actually have it by 34 rolls so yeah the median player gets it in 34 rolls so we are already unlucky we are behind the median we are we are in the bottom half of players for how many rolls we've had to do. Uh, anyway, after that fun math lesson, we now have electric engines. So look at that. And I probably need to be done with the YouTube episode after this. We did get that blue red chip. Oh God, did you hear what I just said? We got that blue red chip. Uh, why why are the qualities also colors? Uh, I need to say rare. Using the word blue to describe rare quality is, I think, a bad idea. We already have too many other things colors are describing. And no, that doesn't mean we got a purple chip, if you're curious. <laughs> uh, the expected number of rolls is probably 34. No, no, I don't think so. <gasps> we did it, we did it. Wait, no, actually you might be right, Alor. I don't know. Uh, we did it. Yes. Look at that. All right, we'll compare the stats in a minute, but you can be done now. Um, I'll leave this here if I want to make something else with the same vibes. But yeah, we need the recycler to get all that, all those red circuits back. <laughs> um, wait, is the expected number of rolls 34 then? My my gut is saying no, but I, as an actual math teacher, I can tell you your gut is usually wrong as hell when it comes to combinatorics and statistics. Expected number of rolls to succeed. The expected number of successes win sampling in times, but that's different. Yeah, I think that's what I was thinking of. This is probably a... This isn't a binomial trial. Expected number of rolls to get the first success. What is this? I don't want hypergeometric. Expected number of trials. What do we call that again? Oh my god, it keeps giving me the expected number of successes. That's not what I want. Uh, geometric. Uh, no one. Is it just X over P? Okay. Mm, still not helping me.
anyway, uh, I'm moving on from that because uh, this is not math lesson. Look at that. We look at this. We should have one tenth of the uncommons. Instead, we have one fourth. Here you see uh, probability in action or more like in, in action. Do your thing, probability. You're not doing you're not doing it. No, I'm kidding. Random is random. That's why those don't match. OK, so I want to compare the stats we got. We got our uncommon. After all that work, we spent who knows how many hundreds of circuits on it, and it has the same resistance. I guess we don't need a wonder. We just look at the diamonds. It has six by six grid instead of five by five, and it has three more inventory size. I'll take it. Look at those extra three slots. You know what I can store in those extra three slots? Quality modules. <laughs> um, anyway, OK, so we're making electric engines. Look at all these extra slots that I have now. Think just think of the think of the solar power, which I need to research. Uh, it's right here. And then we want to research batteries, belt immunity, night vision and personal roboport. I'll do shields eventually, but I need military for that. Yeah, three inventory size is great on top of having extra slots. I'll take it. And then we need to make batteries. So batteries. Um, first, we need sulfuric acid. Which I'll probably do right here. Do I have iron nearby? I have iron back there. Honestly, there's enough space here for some sulfuric acid. Water. And then, oh, I put that too close. Dang it. It actually has to go here. Split off sulfuric. Let's just go underneath and in line with this to use less space. And this has to go way out here. Because again, you gotta use long inserters. Alright, so there's sulfuric acid. Yeah, I was thinking of a geometric distribution. So what's the expected value of a geometric just distribution? Expect E over X is one over P. So it is 50. Uh, I think I'm right. It isn't, is it impossible to get quality sulfur? Uh, no. No, I guess it's just if the outputs are all fluids, you can't use quality because there are no quality fluids. If it has item outputs, it, it's about outputs, not inputs. So yeah, I, I don't think the 34 was correct then. Or was it? Uh, no, I can't decide. If the expected number is 50, right, you only get quality sulfur from quality modules here. You can't produce quality by having higher quality ingredients, correct. Yeah, I. there's gonna be so much confusion in the community. Like how do we even, what words do we use to describe that? You know, like quality ingredients versus upgrading via using quality modules are two different ways to get 
quality things, but they don't really have easily definable words to call them. Why did I bring sulfuric acid over here? Uh, batteries. That's why. That's why. All right. I didn't leave enough room between these two for batteries. Kind of unfortunate. I was thinking I would put batteries right here. Hmm. I think I would like to rebuild it. Which is annoying at this point, but I'll do it. Because I really want batteries right here. Yeah, I don't know why my brain is not remembering the right math things regarding, like, the percentile of the distribution. Because a geometric distribution... Like, knowing that the expected number of trials is 50 doesn't mean... I don't... I think that does mean, though, that the 50th percentile of people is going to be at 50 trials. Half of people will need more than 50 trials, half will need less. I think that is still the median. But is it not? It might not be. It certainly is not a bell curve. It's not like an even distribution because we talked about obviously you can have you could need 150 rolls. There's no way to need negative 50 rolls. So it's not like it's balanced around 50. But um, it certainly has an expected value of 50 rolls. Whether that means you're in the 50th percentile if you get exactly 50 rolls, I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up at some point. All right, so let's get that sulfuric over here. And then we need to bring iron and copper on a belt. So that's going to be right here. is nice and expandable, which is why I did it this way. Batteries. Boom, baby. Alright, so next episode we'll be able to get bots. For sure, because we're basically there now. We've got the electric. Nope. We don't have the electric engines. Did I at least copy that? I didn't even copy that build. Well... Okay, we'll make it again. It wasn't hard. All right, so we'll call that an episode. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and we'll see you all in the next one.